In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 15, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Houston Astros This Thursday, the Oakland Athletics and the Houston Astros will play their first game of this four-game series. The first pitch will be thrown out inside Minute Maid Park. The last time these two teams matched up, the Astros ended up sweeping the A's in three games. The Oakland Athletics are entering this game after losing their previous four-game series to the Chicago White Sox. The A's had a hard time consistently reaching base safely, as they struggled at the plate in the first three games. They will need to be better at the dish if they want to challenge the Astros on the road. The Houston Astros are entering this one after winning their previous series against the Detroit Tigers. The Astros looked incredible on the mound to start that series, as they only allowed three combined runs in the first two games. They will be looking to stay hot on the mound in this one. The A's are 10 to 25 in their last 35 on grass and 10 to 25 in their last 35 overall. Oakland is 0 to 4 in their last 4 Thursday games. Meanwhile, the Astros are 40 to 13 in their last 53 Thursday games and 46 to 18 in their last 64 at home. Houston is 56 to 26 in the last 82 overall. Houston has been hit and miss against Oakland this season, but at home, they have been much better. In those six games at home, when they win, Houston has covered the minus 1.5 in all four wins. Along with that, McCullers JR has been great since returning from injury while Ken Waldachuk has been very inconsistent and gives up a ton of hard contact, which is a problem against a strong offensive lineup that Houston is. The Athletics bullpen has also struggled throughout this year. McCullers is 2-0 in his last pair of starts with 12.2 innings total, 10 hits, 4 earned and 5 walks. As for Caprillion, he's got 10 earned in his last 8.1 frames on 14 hits and 7 walks. Houston is the overall better team and they have the advantage on the mound in this one. The Astros' offense is too good and James Caprillion won't be able to keep them off the base paths or the scoreboard. Houston should be able to get a few knocks if their offense is working well. There could even be a potential blowout in this one with Waldachuk on the mound. So the Houston Astros to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Athletics are 71 to 62 to 9 and hitting the under this season while Houston is 82 to 52 to 8. The Colors JR could very well shut out Oakland who have been terrible offensively. In the 15 games, they are averaging 7.6 runs per game. However, in Houston this season, the under is 39 to 26 to 4 while in the Astros last 10 games they are averaging 7.4 runs per game, but that includes a 12 to 4 game. The Astros are going to have success at the plate, but I don't see them scoring more than 6 runs. They are currently currently scoring the ninth most runs per game and they have the 13th highest overall team batting average as they will show up in front of their home fans. They aren't going to allow the Athletics to do anything at the plate though. I love the Astros starting pitcher on the mound. Lance McCullers JR is getting the start as he has been very tough to beat since coming back from injury. He will also look great in this one as the A's are scoring the second least amount of runs per game. He has a 2.2 earned run average as he has been completely shutting down his opponents in his last few starts. I see him carrying that momentum over into this game and completely silencing the Athletics' bats. Both Oakland and Houston have been under teams this year and I expect the trend to continue here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. New York Mets The Pittsburgh Pirates have been playing decently well as of late as they are in the spoiler role for the remainder of the regular season. Righty J.T. Brubaker should be on the mound for Pittsburgh and he is coming off a no decision against the St. Louis Cardinals where he threw six innings and allowed three runs on six hits with a hit by pitch, two walks, and three strikeouts. 
The New York Mets have been struggling as of late, but still are holding on to the top spot in the National League East race. Veteran right-hander Carlos Carrasco will be on the bump and is coming off a victory over the Miami Marlins as he threw six innings and gave up a run on four hits with zero walks and six strikeouts. The Pittsburgh Pirates continue their 10-game road trip on Thursday night when they play the New York Mets. These two teams just played last week in Pittsburgh, with the Mets taking the series 2-1. to one. The Pirates have no postseason hopes, while the Mets are deadlocked with the Braves for the National League East lead. They are looking for every win to get one of the top two spots in the National League to get the bye to the division series. The Pirates are projected to put right-hander JT Brubaker on the mound. Brubaker is 3-11 in 26 starts with a 4.35 earned run average and a 1.5. 4-2 WHIP but has struggled of late. In his last seven starts, he is 1-3 and has seen his earned run average jump to 5.4. The Mets are going to go with right-hander Carlos Carrasco to start. Carrasco is 14-6 in 25 starts with a 3.8 and a 1.3 WHIP. Unlike Brubaker though, Carrasco has been better lately as he's 4-2 in his last seven starts and dropped his earned run average to 2.5 and WHIP to 1.22. The item I am betting on is the Mets start taking advantage of their schedule against inferior opponents, starting with this game. They have 12 games against teams that have no shot at the playoffs remaining this season, including this four-game series against the Pirates. Look for the Mets to pick up their play, so the New York Mets to win and cover the spread as favorites as our full-game side pick. These offenses have been doing well enough in their last couple of weeks as Pittsburgh is averaging 3.5 runs per game in their last 14 games while New York is scoring 4.54 runs per game in their previous 13 games played. Since the All-Star break, both teams have given up a decent amount of runs as the Mets are pitching to a 3.4 team earned run average in 50 games while the Pirates are throwing a 4.51 team earned run average in 49 games in the second half of the regular season. The Pirates are in a groove at the plate, scoring an average of 4 4.8 runs in their last 10 games. They scored a decent 9 runs in 3 games against the Mets last week and recorded 23 runs in 4 games against the Reds. In addition, the Mets piled on 17 runs in 3 games against Pittsburgh last week and the offense is due for a big night at the plate. Brubaker rarely goes more than 6 innings and the Pirates bullpen has logged a 4.65 earned run average on the year. The over is 4-1 to in the last 5 meetings between these foes. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. Minnesota Twins The Minnesota Twins are looking to right the ship as they host their division rivals on Thursday, the Kansas City Royals. It is the final game of a three-game series. The Twins have dominated the series, leading 10-4, not counting Wednesday's game. Daniel Lynch will get the start for the Royals while Dylan Bundy takes the hill for the Twins. First pitch is at Target Field in Minneapolis. Kansas City is 4-10 in their last 14 games against a team with a winning record and 7-20 in their last 27 road games. Games, while the under is 4-1 in their last five games following a loss. Minnesota is 4-9 in their last 13 games overall and 2-9 in their last 11 Thursday games, while the over is 3-0-1 in their last four games against a team with a left-handed starter. Daniel Lynch has really been struggling recently. He has allowed four earned runs or more in three straight starts and has not gone longer than five innings in each of his last four starts. Lynch allowed two home runs in each of the last two games. His last start in Minnesota was August 17th and he allowed five hits one walk, three earned runs, and gave up one home run. Besides the last game Dylan Bundy pitched, in which he struggled, he was very good in six straight starts. Bundy allowed two earned runs or less in six out of his last seven starts and he gets a great matchup against the Royals. Kansas City is bottom 10 in the league in runs, home runs, RBI, OBP, SLG, and OPS. Minnesota is desperate for wins, so the Minnesota Twins money line is our full game side pick. Batten down the hatches because things could get wild in this one. This game features two pitchers with earned run averages at or near five, and both are coming off outings where they not just lost, but got brutally pummeled. In his last three starts, Lynch is 0-3 with an earned run average of 9.22. Bundy is 2-1 in his last three starts, but his earned run average is 5.65. The reason he won two of the games is because his lineup has a lot of firepower, averaging 4.4 runs per game. Against a pitcher like Lynch, you can expect at least five or six runs. And the Royals' offense is no slouch, particularly against subpar pitching, average 4.6 runs per game over their last 20. This will sail past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, 
and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.